All right, now we're doing seven Q barista problems. This is by Stefan30, and 82% of the people like it. We are at the worst coffee house in the world. It takes forever and a day to get your coffee, and also there's so many words here that I'm not even gonna bother with it. Uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna sort this list right here. We're gonna add two minutes in between each one of these things, and then we're going to uh, figure out the long, the longest amount of wait time uh, that people will get a coffee. I mean, so, all right, let's 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 knock this out. I don't wanna go into any of this. It's just so many words. So much fiction for something so incredibly unrealistic. All right, so we're gonna say right here, const barista, equals coffees and here we go so down here the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sort these arrays so that they're in um, ascending order because that's the best way to get the, that's the pretty much the only way to get the minimum amount of time so we're going to use this uh, sort method which sorts elements of an array in place and returns the reference to the same array now sorted the default sort order is ascended built upon converting the elements into strings then comparing their sequences to utf-16 code unit values which and this is pretty important right here because we're going to have to do something special all right so down here you see here's an array full of uh, numbers if they just do a sort with no uh function in there it's going to put a hundred thousand in front of 21 in front of 30 in front of four uh, because it starts with one and it just goes in the, it's like it's like alphabetical order but UTF-16 style uh, so to combat that we're going to use this arrow function syntax we're going to use sort uh, a b and then an arrow function and then a expression an expression and whatever comes out here if it if the number is uh, negative it's going to go in ascending order and if the number is positive it's going to go in descending order so what we're going to do here is say coffees dot sort we're going to say a comma b as the parameters and then we're going to say a minus b all right and that's going to give us a negative number because if it was zero and this was one it'd be negative one all right now we're going to use the uh, reduce method dot reduce to do a little um, summing up of all these things so if you don't know about the reduce method it executes a user supply reducer callback function on each element of the array in order passing in the return value from the calculation on the preceding element the final result of running the reducer across all elements of the array is a single value the first time the callback is run there is no return value of the previous calculation if supplied an initial value may be used in its place and that's what we're going to be doing because we need to start this thing at zero all right so uh the syntax we're going to be using on this one we're going to be using an initial value we're also going to be using uh, basically we're going to say reduce as the parameters previous value current value also the current index to deal with those twos in between uh, and then we're going to have the arrow function, the expression, and then after the this comma, we're going to put an initial value. All right, so let's knock that out. So right here, we're going to have prev, cur, previous, current, and index. All right, arrow function right here. I'm going to start it on this line because I'm running out of room already. Uh, and then we're going to say, um, number one, we're going to have, excuse me, number one, we're going to have right here the initial value, just so we don't have to bother with it later. Now we're going to say right here, uh, previous, and now we're going to say plus current times, excuse me, times, uh, and then we're going to say right here, coffees, ooh, excuse me, coffees dot length minus the current index, all right? And that's gonna get us um, whatever the, uh, what is it, what is it? It's gonna give us uh, whatever the current uh, wait time for this thing is. And then we're gonna say right here, we're gonna add the little two minutes thing. And so we're gonna say plus two times the current index, all right? And that'll take care of uh, all the twos because we're adding up all the twos together so we can get the absolute total wait time. I mean, the wait time may be 
lower because uh, anyway it's it's hard to explain that uh, so hopefully this works let's test it out and it does look there we go we're gonna attempt it all right and submit it all right very much like this one let's go to my solutions here just me on this one best practice in my opinion uh, as far as the best practice goes that's a lot of uh, trying to figure out but I mean they use the reduce uh, they use the sort so it's pretty much the same thing we do it's just uh, this person's using the classic syntax which that's a whole lot more typing than I'm talking about doing uh, but whatever no big deal very much liked it we already said uh, best practice and we'll see you next time